Annyeonghaseyo! Today, young boy Johnny, aka me, tries out the snow skates. Seems like a perfect day, right? Uh, except for this minor inconvenience that happened this morning. The elevator stopped. I'm not kidding. Eight. One. Uh. Yo, I'm stuck on the eighth floor. So, here we are, guys. Awaiting a human. What have I got myself? In? Oh, I can hear something. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just stuck. I'm trying to open it. Press eight. I'm pressing it. Yeah, it's not opening. This is insane. This is completely insane. Nightmare. I can't stand being in here either. Is anyone there? Don't dance in elevators. I feel like I'm in such a dangerous position. I don't know why, because this elevator isn't reacting like it should be. Is anyone there? Hey, uh, do you know what's going on with the elevator? Can't hear you, man. I'm sorry. Your, your voice is gone. Somebody's coming up here? Okay, cool. Alright, thank you. Yo, 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 hey, I'm gonna give it like two minutes and I'm gonna call the fire department, all right? What's that? Waiting for the elevator guy? All right, is, is there any other information? Because I've been in here for like 10 minutes. 10 or 15 minutes? All right, yeah, somebody's in front of me right now. What's up? That's only one, it's just me. I can't hear you, what? Can, can you yell any louder? Is there any way I can help? Is there any way you can yell any louder? I think they're talking on the other side. They're discussing right now. I can hear the radio saying that somebody's stuck in the elevator. It's you, boy. I'm trying to figure out how to open the elevator right now. What the? How is this happening? There's two people on the other side. Yo, what's up? Push which button? Uh, I'm pressing every button. The red button? You're not talking loud enough. I am not the problem. Talk louder. Hello? Is there anyone on the other side? I'm gonna die here. Who would have thought? You know what? I'm gonna call Sarah. I'm getting really lightheaded really quickly, which isn't a good thing. I feel like not too much longer. I don't I'm just not getting enough oxygen, I guess. I don't really know, but I have like I'm losing my brain really quickly. So I just called Sarah. I said, Sarah, please come to the eighth floor, talk to these idiots who are on the other side of this door because I'm dealing with like I, I know it's like a weird situation, but it, it seems like I'm talking to people who are kind of concerned about other people knowing that there's someone stuck in the elevator, so they're trying to be quiet. And I'm like, scream on the other side of the door. Talk loudly. So I'm getting Sarah to go on the other side of the door. Call me and give the message and say, yo, let this dude out right now because I don't know what's going on. I understand that there's an issue, but I'm going to call the fire department. And if they're trying to get me to avoid calling the fire department because they don't want anything on their hands, that's a bad thing. I need someone to come open this mother fudging door because I'm getting super lightheaded super quickly. Anyways, Sarah's coming here now, so we'll see what happens. They just said 10 to 15 minutes. There should be a guy here. Apparently I'm stuck in between floors and that's why I could barely hear them. They said they don't want to try to pry it open because it could be dangerous. And I'm like, what does that mean? What does dangerous mean? Is this shit gonna fall? It's one of those things too where you know they're underselling you. They're kind of like, okay, it might be more like 30 minutes, but we're gonna say 10 to 15 so this dude doesn't get super mad. Five to 10, whatever. And the fact that this elevator could collapse any second. So the tech guy just showed up. I don't know what that means. He's gonna open the elevator if things go right. So we're waiting now. I'm trying to stay calm because this kind of stuff gets me heated quick. Watch your stuff. Alright, cool. Appreciate yeah, just watch your stuff. Okay, That's it faster because if I fixed it, you would have been in another half an hour, probably 45 minutes. Right. Okay, okay, yeah. Are the other elevators safe? Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. If I press down, yeah, yeah, sure. nothing bad will happen. Gotta be another elevator until I get to the floor. Jesus Christ. 
<gasps> I am gonna go inside and just like I'm probably gonna take a nap after that. My frustration and anxiety, which shouldn't be that high, it's just dealing with the people. There was some guy on the other side that I wish you guys could have heard him. He was such an asshole. Sarah? No, where's Sarah? You made it up. Uh, this is the elevator that was just broken. Round two. Did you tell them? How you broke it? It wasn't my fault, dude. Dancing shouldn't break elevators. If dancing broke That's elevators, true. every elevator would be broken in the world. That's true. Because we're all dancing in our hearts. Hi! Even though it is miserable outside, the snow is thinning just a little bit, so even for the grass and for the cement, I don't really know where to go. I don't know if this will work, but I don't even care. If I had a hamster in my hands right now, I would make a video, I'd eat it. That's how desperate I am for content. So I'm gonna ride here, no matter what, and get something epic for you guys. Let's see if this will even go. Oh. <laughs> Boom, okay. Yeah, this is much easier. Not worrying about that camera. <laughs> Makes it a thousand times easier. Three show. Oh my god, that's hard. Oh, I did it. All right, whatever. If I come to a complete stop, I'm okay with it. As long as I'm moving when I pop that trickery. Barrel flip. Oh my god. Guys, this is a battle. Oh my god, it's not thick enough anymore. This is a nightmare. Look at this place. You can't skate. It's whatever it's called. You gotta do a barrel flip, dude. You gotta do it. I'm counting it. I don't even care. That's good. Was oh, that three tricks? Four tricks. Ah! I know there's no snow on it, but do you think this snow skate can make it down something like that? It's still slick, right? Oh god. Oh. Okay. We got a little bit of traction up in here. I want to get a two step. I don't know if there's enough snow. Oh, there's not enough snow. I'm doing whatever it takes today. Whatever it takes, baby. How do you gather snow? Wait. Is that math that I'm doing in my head? Whew. That took a long time, but it was worth it because my face is pressed. I can't even do that. Let's go for it, guys. Just the first Ollie is what I'm excited about. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Need a one little write up. Oh. That felt so cool. This is exciting. All right, cool. I'm gonna work a little more on this just to make sure it's all good to go. I'm gonna like build out this whole platform right here. So, uh, time lapse. Dude, it's time to start dropping. Talk to it first time. Yo, come on. First try. Yeah. I mean, we just gotta go for the kickflip. Come on, guys. We're at the point now where kickflip is just right there, hanging out, being like, yo, I know your face is frozen, but drop me like it's hot. Oh god, oh, too slow. Oh, okay, that's a little harder. Let's go drop. Oh, that's harder. This is hard. Oh my god. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm getting naked for this one, bro. Now I'm just, re I'm repping revive. Less weight, more propulsion, propelling nation. So hard. Oh, that was it. I suck. No. That was so difficult, but we're not done. As a skateboarder, it's important to keep going, even if you feel like you've reached an accomplishment, to keep showing yourself that you got more potential than that. A cake flip? Anyone can kick flip. Front shove it. Heel flip. Front shove it. Heel flip. I get extra crunk though. Who am I gonna play? Let's get some fat up. Hip hop up in this. Do you okay. know All the right. Muffin Man? Yeah, right. the oh, here we go. Yo, that's easier than real life if you think about it. Heel foot, baby. How many people 
out there was thinking, John, you should go down that thing. What? I wasn't even thinking about it. Front board down that right now. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know what it feels like. It's dangerous. I felt like I was gonna die. All right, to fakie? Is that possible, brother? But I'll go for it, because I believe! Now this is like a real trick. I want to see if I can ollie up this and ride it out. Like go across and then down. But getting up this thing seems so difficult in my head. But if I build the right snow path. The idea is to start here, run and jump onto this right here. Ollie up onto this mother flounder and just ride it all the way down to here where I'm in the safe zone. Here is the danger zone. Here is the safe zone. Danger zone. Safe zone. Danger safe. Zone. There's nothing to it but to just go for it 100%. Got a little more run up. I think that's the only problem. So now we're Gucci. Oh yeah, that was fun. Should I go down this thing even though I feel like it's complete risk of death? Oh, it's scary. Oh my God. Woo! I can't believe how terrified I was with that. I don't know why I didn't figure this as a possibility, but the battery of the remote is frozen and of the skateboard. So it's not going anywhere. No! It's like trying, it's freaking out, it's like help! I'm hoping my hand will just warm it up enough, even though I can't move my mouth. I'm, li I'm not even kidding, I'm not joking around, I can't move my mouth. All right, I'm gonna wait till I get to the office, my mouth's gonna unfreeze. And we're gonna get out. I can feel my face again when I'm with you. The crazy thing is when it's less than 20 degrees and I start sweating, the sweat on my face freezes a little bit and I can't move my mouth a lot. So I literally cannot vlog at all. And I was trying to talk to people and it was such a nightmare. They're like, hey, uh, quick question, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. I was literally moving my mouth like that. Using literally way too much. I'm on that again, whatever. And that was the session. Just like anything that I try to do, the reason I call these videos Pro Skater Versus is because that drive to skate and try to get everything I can out of skating applies to other things when I tap into it. Even when I tried scootering, I get so invested. I spent hours and hours trying to learn tricks, trying to get better at it, and that's why th th there's an advantage there to being confident about trying something new and giving it your all right when you try it. Anyways, these rants at the end are impossible for me. I try so hard to just get through them really, really quickly, but I have so much stuff that I want to tell you about, especially that's going on in my life, and there are so many questions that people ask all the time that I want to try to confront, so I'm just going to say right here, if you want to get to the next video, boom, here's a card right here. This is yesterday's video. I would go watch that, start a new, but for now, I do want to talk about like one or two things really quick before I log off today. One is that Sarah and I have been talking about travel plans, things that we're going to be doing together, and sort of things that we're going to be doing separate. The reason I always want to be in New York is because I always want to be around her. She's awesome. She's my girlfriend. Uh, but she travels so much as well that I was like, let's plan things together and let me plan things just, you know, whatever. The intent is to avoid any day of not being productive. And in New York City, since I go out all the time and try to skate all the time, being in New York City right now is super unproductive, which is something that I knew about, something that I prepared for, but I didn't really realize like the capacity of not being able to do anything. There's no indoor skate parks for like a really far distance, so you can't actually skate. And then you can go outside and skate, which I have been doing, but your truck's free, so you don't really get your full capacity. And that's what I need. I need a session that's like everything that I've learned and everything that I can do on a skateboard. So that's why I haven't even announced this yet. I'm actually traveling to Cincinnati and a few places. I have mentioned that, uh, but I'm traveling all of January and February. I'll be back here for I think a few days at the end of January, but I will be everywhere and just moving around and I'm extremely excited about it because I do always want to travel, I always want to be places, but sometimes I want some comfort. So I might be spending a lot of time in California actually in February and maybe a lot of time in Cincinnati during January. And I know Cincinnati's crazy as well, but there's an indoor skate park there that I can skate every single day with the Shred Quarters homie so we can do collabs. Cincinnati and Progress Daily, the clothing will be going out of the Shred Quarters, so I need to spend time around the clothes and try to get some shots and sort of work on the marketing aspect of that and I'm just around a lot of amazing people. It's a really good time. And that's pretty much the capacity of all that. I don't want to go too, too much even though I could talk forever, guys. It's something that I like to do. I like to share these things with you, especially because you guys are in on the adventure. You guys coming along and I can't wait to make videos at all these places, but I do 
actually have a quote of the night. It has been a while, but I feel like right now is the right time, especially with the New Year's here. <sighs> and it's actually by Bazoma St. John. I think that's how you say your first name. And she says, always be committed to the job at hand. Be friendly, be absolutely fearless. Fearlessness has been an obtained skill for me. I've always been very, very afraid of new opportunities and new ideas. And the more I tap into it, the more I exercise that muscle, the more fearless I become with any new endeavor. Henceforth, more endeavors to have. Had. I believe the opportunity is there for all of us, but everybody talks about that fear, that fear level that sort of lies deep within us. And that fear, at the end of the day, is just us being worried about what people are gonna think about our actions. So the less that you are concerned, the less that you care, the more fearless, fearless you can become and the more opportunities you can have. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching these videos. I make them every single day, pretty much five days. I at least do a video every single weekday. Sometimes I upload random edits on the weekends, but every single weekday, make sure you subscribe if you would like. Join this posse. This is a channel for the underdogs trying to come up and we are out here grinding. It's super inspiring to see what you guys have been doing as well. So make sure that you're just here watching. Tune in for another video tomorrow. Guys, love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it.